So you're thinking about selling your home or you're thinking about selling your home right here in Santa Cruz. I have a few tips for you on how to get your home ready to sell for top dollar and for the best terms. Now, some people might think you just slap on a coat of paint and take down the photos off your wall. Those are two very important details, but there is so much more that goes into selling a home properly. Hi. I'm Shamika Fox, your Santa Cruz real estate expert, and here are a few tips for you to get your home and your mind ready for the successful sale of your Santa Cruz real estate home. So the first thing to consider when you're preparing your home for the market is to depersonalize your home. If I come into a space and I wanna look at the space and imagine myself living there, I don't wanna look at your wall of family photos. Well, I actually do, they're very distracting, but that's the point. You don't want a potential buyer to look at the wall of the family photos and try and depict who you are, what your life was like. You want them to feel a sense of ease, comfort and imagine themselves and their family and friends enjoying the space all on their own. That is the best way to get the right buyer into your home and get you the highest amount with the best terms. So declutter and depersonalize your home. If you're living in your home during the selling process, it is still possible to stage it. We generally will do some light staging after we've removed all of your personal property and personal items out of the home. We'll bring it in a designer and we will add accents and some decor to the property to really accentuate each feature in that property. Think of this, when in doubt, take it out. That means if you're looking at something and you can't decide whether it should remain, whether you think that it's gonna add something of value to the property when a potential buyer is looking at it, pack it up and get it out of the house. Once you've gone through the decluttering and depersonalizing, make sure you deep clean your house. Nobody wants to come into a home and look at dust bunnies under your couch or dust on the counter. They don't wanna know that you had three rabbits, six dogs, and 17 ponies living on the property. So during the deep cleaning process, make sure that you deodorize. We have a team of people that we can bring in if you hire us to help you sell your home that will come in. They will help with the staging. They will do the deep cleaning. They will help with the deodorizing. And we will all walk through and see the completely beautiful product that we have all worked so hard to get to a point where we can successfully market your home so that we can get top dollar and best terms. Another thing to consider when you are selling your home is don't overprice your home. If you start too high and you have to chase the market down to get to that price point where buyers will actually see value there, then you've already put yourself in a position where we can't escalate with multiple offers and with strategic tactical negotiations to get that highest dollar amount. So don't price your house too high. The other thing that you should be really well aware of when you are working on the sale of your home is that in California, the California state law requires a seller to disclose material facts and defects. Our disclosure package is about this thick and we'll help you go through it. We'll help you answer all the questions appropriately. We'll help you add the verbiage appropriately. Part of our job as realtors is to make sure that you are protected. And so we will bring in all of the disclosures. We'll help you fill them out and we'll help you get them successfully written so that we can give a complete package to any interested party. Also, besides disclosures, something to consider when you're getting ready to sell your home is have upfront inspections. Things like a home inspection, a pest report. In Santa Cruz City and County, we're required to do a sewer lateral inspection to see what the condition of the sewer lateral is. Sometimes you might, might even want to do something more extensively, like if you're built on a hillside, do you want to have a foundation report so that the buyer can know, yes, indeed, this foundation is super solid. Or if there is a leak in one of the skylights, we might want to bring in a roofing contractor and have your roof inspected. 
The reason that we want to give these upfront disclosures and upfront inspection reports is so that a buyer has a complete picture of what the product is that they're purchasing so that when they make their offer, they're very fully well informed about the condition of your home and your property. This helps get the highest and best offer initially, and it also helps minimize or eliminate the potential for renegotiation after the buyer has their offer accepted. Now I feel like your home is ready, you're ready, your disclosures are ready. Now we bring in the marketing team. So now we have a creative, fun, funny, entertaining, exciting video done, beautiful photos so that everybody who is looking at your property, because the first place anybody's gonna be looking at your property is online, has a really clear picture of what that property is. Having a robust marketing plan and getting all of the features of your property marketed beautifully and appropriately will help eliminate anybody that that property is not perfect for so that we're not wasting your time showing it to people that will not buy it and it will also help attract people that it is perfect for drawing them in getting the right buyers in that front door getting you multiple offers maximum dollars and the best terms so that you can move on to the next phase in your life. For more tips on how to prepare your home for sale, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm Shamika Foster, Santa Cruz real estate expert, and as always, I'm here to help you. Pause.